Okay guys, uh, today's video is going to be on using the uh, inhibit and uninhibit feature of P25 radios. In the current setup I have, I have a repeater and uh, a mobile and a portable in the uh, simplest configuration here. We're in P25 mode. Um, I've given the, uh, the mobile uh, an ID of all sevens and I've given the portable an ID of uh, all threes. Uh, the repeater has an ID of one. Um, and I want to go through and uh, go over real quick the uh, basics of the P25 ID and show you how the repeater works. Uh, so if I take my portable right now and I transmit um, the and we look at the unit ID display on the uh, mobile up here you'll see when I'm transmitting it um, it displays the ID of my uh, portable and uh, uh, testing what you're testing doing what and you can see it displayed my all threes up there and um, what the repeater was doing was taking my two P25 packets uh, that it was receiving and just rebroadcasting them without doing any kind of manipulation at all. If I had uh, in the programming changed the uh, the input and output NAT codes, it would have um, stripped out the the NAT code in the packet and replaced it with the proper uh, NAT code on the outgoing packet. But otherwise, it pretty much left it alone, and you didn't. Uh, even realize that a repeater was involved, uh, you didn't have an indication of that. Um, so, the in 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 this particular situation, the repeater is staying out of it as far as you don't know what its ID is. Um, however, if I key up directly from the repeater using its own push to talk switch, and you observe the the ID uh, there, you'll see that it has an ID of one and um, it's now displaying its hidden essentially uh, behind the scenes uh, um, individual ID and that's the individual ID that we'll be using to do the inhibit and uninhibit uh, feature. Now that's an ID you obviously want to keep uh, um, uh, contained and with uh, very little people knowing uh, what it is because you obviously don't want to give them the ability to remotely turn it off um, if uh, you don't want them to. So uh, I'm, um, now that we established how the IDs work, let me just go through and do a quick inhibit and uninhibit uh, the repeater and you'll see how it works. Um, I'm going to start off by going up and going into my menu and you see I have uh, two selections there, inhibit and uninhibit. I'll go up to inhibit. I'll select OK. I'm going to enter password. Uh, this is programmed in in the uh, the uh, BK software uh, to in the general user password. So I'll put in my password there. That allows me the access because they know this is a big deal and not everyone should have the ability to do this. So I'll go OK. And now it's going to. I can either come down here to actually enter the ID. Or use the last call. I'll go. I'll, I'll go. Uh, enter ID just to show you how it works. I'll go one, and then I'll go send. And I get an inhibit acknowledge received, showing that it successfully talked to the repeater and uh, inhibited it. And now the repeater, uh, you'll see on this display now, it says not ready. So if I try and use the repeater now. You'll see a busy light on the repeater, but no activity, and uh, there's no uh, no one in the uh, in the field would uh, hear me. So this the repeater is essentially um, dead right now until it gets woken back up. Um, so we're going to go ahead and do the reverse, which is to uninhibit, and that's just as easy. So we go up to the menu, and we're going to select uninhibit. And once again, it's want a password. And we go OK. And we'll select OK for last call. And you get an acknowledgement showing that the, uh, the repeater uh, heard you and came back uh, live and was uh, letting you know that it's back up. And now when we key up, 
we uh, get repeat action, and um, it works uh, uh, both ways. So, um, that's your that's your basic uh, inhibit uninhibit uh, feature, and um, in the in in the repeater uh, programming, um, uh, in the Midland, we're going to go in here to the P25 set. This is where you program in the unit ID, and this is where we're going to uh, check on the single block control messaging and select our radio inhibit and uninhibit receive enable here. So that's how you get this uh, uh, turned on the repeater, and this is where you set the, uh, the unit ID. So it's uh, pretty simple and straightforward and can come in really, really super handy if you ever get um, a repeater taken over and you need to shut it down because they're transmitting nonstop and uh, wiping out your operations. So anyway, that's uh, that covers it. I hope that helps. We'll talk to you soon.